Adventures in Murfreesboro is produced in cooperation with Murfreesboro City Schools. Hey, Murph. How are you doing today? Oh, ja, 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 ja. oh, I'm so glad to see you. I'm glad you're here. I've been so bored. Really? Why? Uh, why? How can you ask why? It's winter, and, and most days are cold or wet or yucky. Well, that's true, but there's other things you can do besides go outside. Yeah, yeah, I know, but I'm tired of my toys and I'm tired of TV. Clearly, you need a new adventure, Murph. Oh, 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 I absolutely do. Well, I just happen to know of a magical place with a wonderful wizard right here in town. You're kidding. No, it's true, Murph. You mean there really is such a place? Absolutely. How come I've never heard of it? I is it new? It's always new. Okay, now I'm really confused. How can it always be new? Murph, I told you, it's a magical place. Well, can we go there? I mean, I mean, right now. Sure, if you want to. Oh, oh, so you tell me there's a magical place in town with a wonderful wizard and you ask me if I want to go there? Of course I want to go there. <laughs> hey, hey, can they come too? Absolutely, Murph. And you know what? what? To make it even more exciting, when we get there, I'm going to blindfold you until we're inside, so it'll be a complete surprise. <laughs> oh, this is so exciting. Come on, guys. Okay, Murph. Here's the magical place I promised you. Let's take off your blindfold so you can see. Oh, oh I'm so excited. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Uh, Miss Rita. Hi, Murph. How are you? Oh, I'm so good. I'm so excited to be I in this. I can tell that. Oh, I'm in a magical place. Oh, look at all the bright colors. I know. Oh, that looks like Jack and the Beanstalk there. You're very good, Murph. Oh, I yeah. think you've been doing some reading. Oh, reading. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Miss, Miss Rita, what is that? wonderful hat you're wearing. I, in my secret life, happen to be the reading wizard. <gasps> the reading wizard? Yes. Oh, oh, is Miss Rita the wonderful wizard you were telling me about? She is, Murph. Oh, the wonderful reading wizard. Oh, Miss Rita, can we say that three times fast together? Well, we can try. Okay, okay. <laughs> One, two, three. Wonderful, wonderful reading, reading wizard. wizard. Wonderful, wonderful reading wizard. wizard. Wonderful reading wizard. wizard. Oh. <laughs> We're pretty awesome. I know. Oh my goodness. What is this bright and wonderful place I'm at, Miss Rita? You are in the Youth Services Department at Lineball Public Library. Lineball Public Library? What does right. that mean, public That library? means that we are open for everybody. Everybody! So we're here for everybody. Anybody can use us, no matter who you are, how old you are, <laughs> or anything. Even if you've got whiskers like me. Even if you got whiskers. Nobody gets left out. Nope. Oh, we love this place. This is awesome. I love it when people aren't left out, aren't you? I know. Yeah. We really try hard. Okay. So, so are all these books, could you mean I could borrow any one of these books? You can. Whoa, even the one with big, big pictures? Big pictures, little pictures, lots of words, not too many words, no words. Do you have a library card, Murph? Oh, do I? 
I don't think so, but Miss Rita, I don't have a lot of money. I've only got seven cents. Well, guess what? What? You can hang on to your seven cents because library cards are free. Library cards are free? They are, unless you lose it after you get it. Uh... So you have to take really, really good care oh, of oh, it. Oh, yes ma'am, yes ma'am. Really good care. Uh, yes. but, but what is a library card? It's a little plastic card that allows... <gasps> like a credit card. Like a credit card. <laughs> and, and it lets you check out books. <laughs> it lets you use things online that we have. We have some what's called ebooks or electronic books or audios. Right. We have launch pads. You know what a launch pad is? Uh -huh. It's like a little tablet, electronic tablet, and it has games and <gasps> things like that on it. Games? Games? Oh my goodness, yeah. books and games. You know, I have been so bored. Yeah. Oh, it's so cold and rainy and yucky outside, Miss Rita. You're right. Oh, this is a place to come. No wonder you said this was a magical place, John. Yes, it is. Now, what are what are some of the wonderful magical places we could go? Well, we have story time that actually just finished, and you get to watch puppets, puppets, and pictures on the wall. You think they may be related to me? They might be cousins. Here we That's come! Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And stories, and they have craft workshops sometimes, so you can come and make things, and they wow. have all kinds of things for children to do. And bunnies. And bunnies. And bunnies. Yeah, and, and we bunnies. don't want to forget the, the Yeah, we the don't want to forget you, Murph. No, 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 no. Oh, Miss Rita, this is so cool. Let me ask you some questions about you. Okay. Where do you come from? I come from here. You're from right here in the borough. I was born in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Uh -huh. A right. long time ago. Oh, Miss Rita, you still a spring chick. Oh, thank you. Or, or I knew I liked you for some reason. <laughs> 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 and, and where did you go to school? Well, I actually went to elementary school at Hobgood. Uh, uh, don't you mean Hopgood? Yes, Hopgood. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. And then I went to Bellwood because we moved across town and they were building Bellwood. So yeah. I got to start there when it was a new school. Brand new, huh? Yeah, and at that time you went all the way through the eighth grade in elementary school. Woo! Yeah, it was a long time ago. No, no that sounds awesome. That sounds awesome. And I bet it was a much smaller town then, right? It was. Yeah. It was. And then I went when, uh, at that point in time, Central Magnet School was the only high school school we had. Right. So I went to Central High School. Central High. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. And then I went to Middle Tennessee State University. Oh, right yeah. Here. Blue Raiders. That's right. Yeah, yeah, go yeah. Blue Raiders. Oh, Miss Rita, I've got lots more things I want to ask you. Can okay. I ask? Okay. Uh, go ask away. Okay, okay. Uh, mm, uh, oh, 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 oh. What's the hardest part of your job? The hardest part of my job. Uh -huh, uh -huh is trying to do everything I want to do. Okay, okay. Because yeah. I can't do it all. Oh, oh boy. And it's that's so why I have a good staff that, that I can have them, because I would love to, I used to do puppet shows and things like that, and <laughs> I, don't, I don't get to do that anymore. Oh, well, you know, I, I, I know somebody who might be able to help you out here. Oh, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, and you've got some great people doing puppet shows right yes, here now. Yes, we do, Miss yeah. Mindy and Miss Laura. Awesome, awesome. Okay, and what's the best part of your job? Best part of my job is all the people that I get to see every day because I see everybody from newborn babies to 100 year old people Ooh. and everybody in between. Well, every bunny in between. Every bunny in between. <laughs> yeah. And let's see, um, okay, uh, who would you like to have dinner with in history? Who would I like to have dinner with? Uh -huh. Or just meet? Well, I think I would like to meet Joan of Arc. Joan of Arc? Yes. Why Joan of Arc? Well, because she stepped out of her comfort zone and did a lot of things that women at that point in time didn't, weren't supposed to be doing. Whoa. And she made a, a great mark in history. Well, good for Joan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's neat. And you you need to get a book on Joan of Arc and read about her. Do you have one here? We do. We'll have to check that out, won't that's we, John? Right. Yes, we will, Mark. Okay, okay. And let's see, what's your favorite food? My favorite food is probably macaroni and cheese. Oh, but it has yeah. to be homemade macaroni oh, yeah, and cheese. Yeah, yeah. And do you bake it in the oven? Yeah. Oh, yum, 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 yum. Big pan. Oh, big, big pan. Mm -hmm. What time's dinner? <laughs> I took you by surprise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see. Um, And what's your favorite TV show? Except my show, of course. My favorite TV show, and it's not on anymore, but I still, 
I own them all on DVD as Murder, She Wrote. Murder, She Wrote. Yeah, yeah Miss Jessica. Yes, I love mysteries. Hello, Miss Rita. Do you have any pets? I do. I <laughs> actually have a little black cat. Uh -huh. My husband calls her Sadie, but my kids call her Chocolate Moose. Chocolate Moose? Yes, because when the light hits her just right, she looks chocolate brown instead of black. Whoa, that's yeah. kind of cute. Is she sweet? Yeah, she's very sweet. Does she purr? Yes, a oh, lot. She's Perfect, isn't yes. she? <laughs> You're so good. Ah, oh, thanks, Toots, thanks. <laughs> okay, okay, Miss Rita, so I was wondering, can you tell us something about yourself that would surprise us? Well, if I tell it, it won't be a secret anymore, but I guess I can let the cat out of the bag, or oh. the bunny out of the bag. <laughs> let the bunny out. Okay, I'll let okay. the bunny out of the bag. Okay. I'm a superhero junkie. <gasps> I love all the superhero movies. Oh, wow, really? And you know who my favorite is? Uh, 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 who? Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman, oh yeah. She's my favorite. Yeah, she's lovely. But she's, I like them all. She's wonderful, like you're a wonderful oh, reading wizard. Thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah, you are your own superwoman, you know that. Oh, uh, well, thank you. Yeah, I kind of like The Flash. Uh, he's, I like the Flash, too. Yeah, he's fast like a rabbit. Yes, he is. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, might yeah. be faster than a rabbit. Wait a minute here. Yeah, this is up for a rabbit. Unless we have you're a, a super bunny. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I could be a super bunny. I just need yeah, a cape. Yeah, you could. I could need a cape. I bet you could get a cape. Yeah, somewhere. yeah, I could get a cape. Okay, let's see. Next question. What was your favorite book when you were a kid? My favorite book growing up was called The Five Chinese Brothers. The five Chinese mm -hmm. brothers. And they all could do different things. Like one could swallow the sea and things like that. It was a really cool book. Whoa, swallow the sea. Mm -hmm. That's some sodium right there. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of it. Yeah, a lot of, wow, okay, that's kind of, you know I never heard of that book. I know, you'll have to check it out. I think it's still around. Oh, that's awesome. The five Chinese brothers, okay. Mm -hmm. oh, Miss Rita, if you weren't a wonderful reading wizard, what else might you like to be doing? Well, actually, when I was a kid, other than wanting to be a librarian, I thought it'd be really cool to be a translator at the United Nations. Whoa, a translator. Yeah, yeah. you could learn to speak bunny. I would have to. Yeah, and, and other languages like, like French, bonjour. Yeah, that's about the extent of my, my French. And hola, Spanish, and, yep. and uh, that's all I got. Yeah, that's yeah, probably yeah, about yeah, all yeah. I've got. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> and, and then, what do you do in your spare time? In my spare time, uh -huh. I do read and I knit, but uh -huh. anything outside, I like to bike, I like to walk. <gasps> um, and one thing I really want to do uh -huh. is jump out of an airplane. Whoa! Yeah. Then you'd be a flying reading wizard, right? I would. Flying reading wizard, right? Uy, I'm in trouble here, dude. Okay, okay. Oh, Miss, Miss Rita, yeah. you have been so awesome to talk to us here in, well, in this you. magical place called Lineball Public Library. Yes. I, I was wondering, could anybody grow up to do what you do? Yes, they can. And it doesn't matter whether you're a boy or a girl. Uh -huh. And you just, even if you don't necessarily like to read, if you just like helping people find information uh -huh. and, and just helping people. If you like helping people, mm -hmm. you know who that makes me think of. Who's that? The great Mr. Rogers. Yes. Yeah, awesome. He awesome. would have been a good librarian, wouldn't he? Oh, he sure would have. Oh, thanks so much. You know what we say in our borough? What, Murph? You the bunny. Oh, thank you, Murph. That means a lot to me. Oh, especially coming from me. I know. You're my favorite. <laughs> oh, no. oh, I like her too. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, what, do we sh what, what should we do now? How about we get you a magic card? What? You Would you like a magic card? Oh, 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 okay. Oh, 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 Miss Rita, really for me today? Today. Right now. Right now. And you can even save your seven cents. You oh. don't even have to spend that today. It's free. It's oh, free. Oh, this is awesome. Yes, 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 yes. But how do we do that? Well, we need to go over to the front desk uh -huh. and we'll get somebody to help us. Okay, okay. Sounds good. Hey, you come too. So, Murph, are you ready to get your magic card now? Oh, 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 okay. What, what, what next? Well, your mom's already filled out the form and given you permission to get one, so Miss Jessica's already got your card ready. Do it, you, Miss Jessica? It just needs my magic touch. Oh, do you have a magic wand? I have a magic finger. Is that your magic finger? This is my magic finger. Oh. And so, it is ready to go. Bippity 
Bobbity book. How about that? I like so that. So you get to go on all kinds of adventures at the library because you can travel anywhere yeah, and you can learn about anything learn you want to. Learn about things. Oh, this is so exciting. I can't wait to go on more but, adventures. But remember, Murph, you have to keep up with your library card. Okay. You can't lose it. Can't lose it's it. It's very important. Must take very good care of it. Yes. Them. Oh, thank you, Miss Jessica and Miss Rita, our wonderful reading wizard. Thank you, Murph. <laughs> and now you can go on all kinds of adventures. Adventures? Ooh, that's right up my alley. That's right. Yeah. Oh, and we love all of our adventures right here at the Lime Ball Public Library. Check it out. Oh, John, that was amazing. Oh, there are always new adventures to have with a storybook. With all kinds of books, Murph. <laughs> and there's always something happening at the Lineball Public Library. Yeah, you know, that was cool, and I checked out a couple of books. That's great, Murph. Well, now, since that was so cool, do you have any other boredom buster ideas for a yucky day? You know, Murph, when you're bored and you're tired of your own company, it's best to think about something you can do for others. Uh-oh. You mean chores, right? Well, it could mean chores, helping around the house or the burrow. Or it could mean helping out in other ways. Oh, I'm liking that. You know how? What? Well, sometimes it's best to look around right where you are. You know, start in your own backyard. Oh, start in my own backyard? Look around, Mark. Tell me what you see. Well, every, everything's tidy because my granny's tidy. Yeah, she yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, She's yeah, very yeah. tidy. Uh, and my little sister Bunny is out, is out with my mom shopping, so I can't help her any. Keep looking, Murph. Okay, you said backyard, right? Right, that's right. Well, okay. Well, I see some little feathered friends. I, I guess they're looking for something to eat. You mean the birds? Yeah, yeah. They don't have much to eat this time of year, do they, Murph? Oh, uh, you know, I guess not. Oh, 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 I could help them, but we don't have a bird feeder. Murph, don't let that stop you. This huh? is your chance to be creative. All you need to do is find something to hold the bird seed in. The bird seed? Yeah. Well, here's Granny's bowl. I don't think Granny would like you using her bowl as a bird feeder. <laughs> You're probably right. But I do see something that if we cut it in half, we can use it for a bowl. Why? Is it shaped like a bowl? It is. This grapefruit will work perfectly if we cut it in half. You mean that could be a bird feeder? It could, Murph. Absolutely. You want me to show you how to do it? Yeah, show me how. Okay. Oh, I can't wait to see a bird feeder made out of a grapefruit. Okay, Murph, well, let me tell you what you're going to need for this project. Okay. You're going to need your grapefruit. Yes. You're going to need scissors. Uh-huh. You're going to need a knife to cut the grapefruit in half. That's the part you need to get an adult to do. Yeah, mom or dad. Absolutely. Okay. You're going to need a chopstick to uh -huh. poke holes in the grapefruit. Oh, I like them because they're not too sharp. That's right. And you yeah. need some twine and a spoon. Right. I bet you could use yarn instead of twine, too. You could use yarn if you wanted to. Absolutely. Oh, <laughs> I'm smart. You are smart. I can't wait. All right. What's the first thing we do? First thing we're going to do is cut the grapefruit in half. Okay. And like I are, said, are you an adult? I, I think I'm an adult. Am I an adult? <laughs> yes, sir. All right. All righty. Look at there. Ooh, doesn't that look yummy? Yes, it does look yummy. Okay. Is, is this the part where we get to eat the grapefruit? <laughs> yeah. This is the part where we scrape out the insides, and then you can eat it for later. How about yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, a little sugar on it, too. That's right. <laughs> All We're right. some good eating here. Let's put this one aside. We're going to use this one right here. Okay. We're going to use a bowl, because so, it's kind of messy when you yeah, use a grapefruit. Yeah, a little bit messy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Woohoo! Woo. It's, it's we also want to probably lay down a paper towel or something because it tends to squirt out a little bit too. <laughs> it does look like a bowl, doesn't it? You're right, Murph. It does look like a bowl. A bird-sized bowl. That's right. It's got a nice hollowed out place for our little bird seed to go in. Well, now how are we going to hang it? Well, what we're going to do next is we're going to take our chopstick. Yeah. And we're going to poke holes. Look at that. It goes right through. It goes right through. We're going to poke four holes in it. Uh-huh. Well, that doesn't one. look too hard at all. No, it's quite easy. If you hold it on its side like that and poke it through that way, it's quite easy to do. Cool. And then we're going to poke one right here. So now we've got our four holes poked on opposite sides. Right. 
All right, Murph. So we're going to take our twine and we're going to cut our twine and we want to have plenty of twine to make sure. It doesn't sure that have we... to be exact, does it? No, not exact. Just as long as you get enough to hang it from a tree branch. Okay, now what, dude? Now we need to put our string through it so that we can hang it up. Okay. So you're going to take, and the easiest way is to take your string and put it over the hole. Uh huh. And then you're going to use your chopstick. To just kind of push it through? To kind of push it through. Well, that's not hard. No, it's not hard at all. Look at that. And, and look, it came through. It did come through, Mark. Right on the other side. That's right. And then you're going to come across here. Uh-huh. You can do the same thing with this one. All right, Merv. Okay. So once you get it all threaded through, then you're just going to take the ends and you're going to tie them together several times, make a knot. Yeah, because that's kind of slick. That's right. Yeah, and you probably want to tie more than one knot on there. Uh -huh. There you go. And oh. then... Look! Look there you have it, Mark. Oh, that's so cool! Oh, dude! You are the bird feeder big guy. And yeah. then you just hook it on the branch. But it needs one thing. What does it need, Murph? Seeds. It does need seeds. Yeah. Hey, let's get our coats on and do that part together. Okay, outside. Yeah, outside. Hey, hey guys, come check this out. It's so exciting, but it's kind of chilly out here. Yeah, it's still cold out here, Murph. Yeah, Think about your feathered friends. February, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, All oh, right. my feathered friends are going to be having a feast. How about that? Yes, they are going to be having a feast. Oh, look at that. Yum, 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 Feast yum. for all the feathered friends. All the feathered friends. Fill it up right oh, to the top. That. Oh, it needs more, needs more. It needs oh, more. Oh, oh, think of it like Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Oh, look at that. All right. Okay. Now, where are now, we going to hang it? I think right here. Oh, that's, that's a good, good place. <gasps> look at that. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's all right. The birds will pick that up on the, <laughs> on the ground. Yes, they will, and they'll be glad for it, too, won't they? That's right, Murph. Oh, it kind of looks pretty hanging there, doesn't it? It does look pretty there, Murph. And your feathered friends will really appreciate that. Yeah, it's going to be so much fun to watch them come and eat. You're right, Murph. And you can go to the library and get a book on birds and find out what birds come to your feeder. Oh, wow, that's a great idea. You might even get some pictures uh -huh. and make a book. Oh, these are some great boredom buster ideas with my little bird buddies. My uh, buddies. <laughs> More B-words. There's those B-words again. Yeah, yeah. Say, Murph, do you want to try a new fast game? I think you'll really like it. What's it called? It's called Letter Hop, Murph. Oh, now that sounds right up my alley. Can we play indoors? Yes, we can. Oh, let's go indoors good. and I'll hey, show you how to play. Let's go warm. Yeah. yeah. Okay, how do we play? Well, first you take some construction paper uh -huh. and you write a letter on each piece of the construction paper and then you get some painter's tape and tape it to the floor. Painter's tape. Painter's tape. That'll that protect your floor. That'll protect your floor. Once you get all the letters laid out, uh -huh. then you have somebody call out a letter and you have to hop to that letter. <laughs> and then when you land on a square, uh -huh. you have to sound out what sound that letter makes. Oh, you mean I have to tell the sound it makes? That's right. For instance, <laughs> if you went to the letter P, uh -huh. you could say puh, 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 Like popcorn. Or pirate. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, this is, I bet there are lots of great ways to play this game. Oh, absolutely, Murph. You can roll the dice and uh -huh. do the number that it rolls on the dice. You like like three or four hops? That's right, exactly. Ooh, cool. There's all different ways you can do it. So are you ready to play? I am, take it away, yeah. Let's play. All right, Murph, your first letter is the letter R. R, 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 oh, okay, R, oh, 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 I got, got it, hop. Okay, now what do I do? Good, now tell me what sound that letter makes. Err, like I'm a pirate, Arr. Good. Your next letter is T. Oh, oh, got it! Got it, got it, got it, got it! Here's the T, here's the T! All right, Murph, what sound does the letter T make? Ta, 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 ta! Good! Oh, I'm good at this. Your next letter is N. N, 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 like in granny, 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 granny. And what sound does that letter make? Mmm, mmm. All right, Murph, we're gonna shake things up and I'm gonna roll the dice this time. And whatever number the dice land on, that's the number of hops that you have to make. Are you ready? Here we go. It's the number two. So take two hops, Murph. Okay, hop two. What? In two. Oh, oh, look at me. Let's see. What is this? It's a W. And what sound does that letter make? Wah, wah. Like wah, water. All right, Murph. Now that you've reached the top, 
turn around and look back at the letters. Now, tell me what they sound like and what they spell. W, E, N, T, E, R. Oh, thinking, thinking, thinking. W, E, N, T, E, R. W, E, N, T, R. Wind, wind. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. Winter, winter, winter. Did I get it right? Did I get it right? That's great, Murph. I knew you'd like this game. Woo! <laughs> I'm tired now, but that was fun. I'm glad you liked it, Murph. It's a great way to get some exercise and get moving. Moving, yeah. And now it is my turn to show you something. Okay, what is it? Well, you know how I like art. Yeah, mm -hmm. and February is a great month for making some art. Cards. Oh, you mean Valentine's cards. Yeah, right. And, and this one is so fun and simple that I can even do it with my little sister, Bonnie. Bunny? Uh, no, Bonnie. Bonnie, Bunny. Oh, I see. <laughs> so what do we need for this project? Oh, well, let's see. Um, just some red paint and mm -hmm. a paper plate to put it on and some white paper to be like a card or decoration and then a cardboard roll. Wait, wait, wait. I use that word board again. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you did. You know, Murph, board is a multi-meaning word, and it's spelled differently than the board in I'm so bored. Whoa, aren't you smart? And that is absolutely right. Well, are you ready to get going? I'm ready, Murph. Let's okay, get started. Let's get going. Hey, 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 you do this too. It's awesome. Okay, we just need the red paint, because mm -hmm. it's all valentine and everything. Right. And then we need a paper plate or a plastic yep. plate to put the paint on. Okay. And then we need some white paper to be like our picture or our card. Right. Yeah, and then we just need a, 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 a that roll over there, that cardboard roll. Okay, so what do we do first, Murph? Okay, so the first thing we want to do is take our cardboard roll. Yes. That's a big, put it in your hands, dude. Right. Hold it. And what we're going to do is try to make a crease down the middle of it. Just make a little crease down the middle. Okay. Not too big a crease. Yeah. You're, like you that. know what you're actually making is a stamp all the way oh, down. Oh, okay. All the way down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of yeah. like that. Kind of like that. Let me see. Let me see. Now look at that little, since we put the crease in, what shape do you see? It looks like a heart, Murph. Right, we have made a little heart stamp and we have reused and repurposed our little cardboard roll there. Okay, so we're making a stamp then. Here we are, we're making a stamp. Okay, so put that aside. All right. And now you take a little bit of red paint. Yep. Not too much. Pour it in the paper plate. There All right. you go. Now, grab one of the white pieces of paper. Okay. Lay it on your board there. That's right, we're putting our board down so we don't get the table cloth messy. Right, 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 right. All right. And now you just dump your your little stamp in the in the paint, just straight on. Okay. That's it. Now put it on the white paper and put hearts all. Isn't it cool? That's put cool, all Murph. Over it. I think you need a little more. Paint. I think I need some more paint. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let me get some more paint here. Yeah. You can just put hearts Ooh, look all Look at that heart. Over. That's awful. Yeah. This is so awesome. Make some more hearts. It's more. Uh huh. And they can overlap. Oh, that looking so pretty. And you know, if you want and you had pink paint, you can make you can make all different colors of hearts. That's great, Murph. You know, this also works for like Mother's Day. Yeah, you it would make, be great. You can use some some pastel colors. Yeah. Look at that. That is so awesome. And that is all there is to it, dude. That's awesome, Murph. Now you just let that dry, and you can either use it as a picture or if you folded it in half. Mm -hmm. You have a wonderful Valentine's Day card. Look at that, Murph. That's awesome. Yeah, it is. And easy enough for even our little bunny friends. That's right. Everybody can do this one. Every bunny can do it. Every bunny can do this one. You're right, Murph. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Oh, put that down. Dude. You All know right. what? Yeah, I hear the clock ticking. We yep. have had a great show today. We've had a busy show, haven't we, Murph? Oh, a lot of boredom busters. Busy boredom busters. A lot of B words. That's right. A lot That's of right. B words. And and we had our wonderful visit with the wonderful reading Wonder Woman wizard, Miss Rita, Rita Shacklett. She oh. was awesome. Oh yeah, I love Miss Rita. Yeah, she's so cool. Okay, okay, and then and then we we did other fun things. We we played the letter game. That's and right. And we made the bird feeder, another oh, yeah. B word for yeah, our for, birds. For our bird buddies. That's right, our bird buddies. That's Even right. more bees. More bees, that's right. Oh, 
oh, this is awesome. And then we came in, and we can't think of a, I can't think of a good B word for the Valentine Day card. Oh, be my Valentine, Mark. Be my Valentine. <laughs> hey, let's just say that to all the folks out there on three, okay? All right. One, One two, two, three. three. Be, be my, my Valentine. Valentine. Hey, hey guys!